Can you see the view button on top? You just play, uh, press on uh, speaker at the side. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm recording this. I can see the speaker at the side, so I'm fine. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, group D, are you ready? I'll start the timer now. Yes? Uh, yes. Okay, please start. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, we are going to present the IVM Alio Dinner 2022. And next, I will introduce you what, to, what is IVM. IBM is an international business machine. It is a company that supplies world technologies such as handware, software, code-based service, and cognitive computing. And IBM is committed to mentally- I'm sorry, I have to pause you there. Um, I don't see you on camera. Are you on camera? Okay, yeah. now, okay, now, okay. Okay, continue, please. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, again, your camera is off. Uh, can, can, can I see? I don't see you. Ah, now okay. Oh, now okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Okay. Continue. Uh, okay. Well, oh, yeah. Uh, IBM is committed to to mentally agree lead in all areas of its business and from options to product design to the use of its technology. IBM is developing new methods based on model index data and information technologies to save complex environmental problems. Uh, that technologies can also transform business model and the ratio work. And the next, uh, I will pass on to Isabella to introduce you to the specific details about the event. So for the annual dinner that it will be held on the, held at the Kuala Lumpur Convention Center on the 29th January, 2022, and it's on the Saturday. So the employees, clients, suppliers, shareholders will be invited to the event and the team of the event is enchanted for us. And this is a eco-friendly based event. So for the objective is to appreciate the hard work of the employees, to reward employees with their outstanding results, to appreciate the clients, suppliers, and shareholders for their trusting among IBM companies, and it is to generate awareness among stakeholders about the importance of waste reduction and how they can contribute to the event and to help the planet. So for the sustainable goals is to reduce event land fill waste by 90% and to reduce food waste by 50%. And next I'll pass to Paywen. Paywen, you're, you're muted. Oh, sorry. Turning our attention now to the highlight of sustainable practices, we have come up with various sustainable practices for our event. First is to ensure that the waste are being sorted properly. We, as an event organizer, we will provide large number of waste bin and also a recycle bin that will be placed at the strategic point, strategic spot close to the area surrounding the surrounding to a venue. Uh, most importantly, the instructions for proper waste sorting will also be clearly written and illustrated with images on the base. Therefore, the attendees may follow the guide and put them into the right bin. And secondly is to utilize technology to reduce waste. This is due to the fact that uh, we will be sending out all our invitation via WhatsApp and also email. Also, all our marketing materials, including the printing poster and flyer, will also be shared on Instagram, Facebook, and also IBM official website. Uh, therefore, it helps to reduce, uh, it helps the reduction of waste and also the reduction of printing materials. Thirdly, is to reduce waste by reusing certain materials and equipment. Uh, we will be using materials that can be sorted for future events, such as the reusable sign, decoration and also the props. In addition, we will also borrow equipment that are needed for suppliers like recycle materials for our event decoration. 
besides, we will also source a printing company that use environmental friendly materials like recycled paper, chlorine free paper to come up with materials like our poster and also banner. Uh, next is to minimize food waste. In order to minimize food waste, uh, plated meals will be served during the event. This is due to a reason that uh, by using this type of service method, it will be easier for us to correctly measure the estimated volume of food waste. And lastly is to deal with the food waste effectively. Uh, the surplus food and condimented food will be donated to the charitable uh, organization. We will be partnering with NGO like Food Aid and they will be helping us to donate the unserved food to the homeless, uh, refuse committee, and also the poor families. Um, not only that, we will also uh, distribute the, the, the kitchen waste and food scraps will be distributed to the farmers and also other qualified organizations to turn them into bio-organic compost. Next. So I will be talking the three sustainable practices that our company is holding with attendees. The first practice is hold an environmental innovation challenge. This is where IBM employees need to come up with innovative ideas to help the environment. This challenge will be held for a few months before the annual dinner and the top three contestants will have the change, chance to present their ideas during the annual dinner. There will be also rewards with splendid prizes for the winners. Next practice, we will encourage uh, attendees to rent their own gowns for the annual dinner. The reason is because that not everyone will wear the same outfit as not everyone wants to wear back the same outfit and appear in the picture again. So uh, therefore, we will encourage attendees to rent their own gowns and suits instead of purchasing it and by distributing discount vouchers. Last but not least, we would also encourage attendees to bring their own food containers to pack up leftover food. And it is to prevent using more non-recyclable things such as uh, plastic bottles, polystyrene boxes and plastic bags. Uh, now I would like to pass the floor to Sanjayan to talk about the justification of the feasibility. Well, we managed to achieve our goal, which is to reduce even landfill waste by 90% compared to the annual dinner in 2019. So during the 2019 IBM annual dinner, we have sent 50 kg of waste to the landfill, which is quite a lot. And for the annual dinner this year, we managed to decrease the landfill waste to 5 kg. And we managed to achieve this by repurposing the other 95 kg of event waste for beneficial use. Like for the 35 kg of waste, we managed to recycle them because most of the materials used were recyclable. And next, the 30 kg of reusable event waste, which includes carpet, banners, and props, were being kept for future use. And 10 kg of food waste, which are being categorized as edible and surplus food, were donated to the needy with the help of our NGOs. And the other 20 kg of food waste, which includes food scraps, tea bags, and coffee filters, were being composted. The remaining 5 kg of unavoidable waste were sent to the landfill as they could not be reused, recycled, or composted. We also managed to Next. We also managed to achieve our second goal, which is to reduce event food waste by 50% compared to the annual dinner in 2019. So as you can see in this figure here, the IBM annual dinner in 2019 produced 64 kg of food waste. And this year, we managed to reduce it to 32 kg, which is half of the result in 2019. So we managed to achieve this by serving plated meals instead of Buffet meals as plated meals are served in small portions that are personalized to meet every attendee's dietary needs, and this would produce a smaller amount of food waste. Next. Okay, uh, so to wrap up this presentation, events are affecting the environment uh, negatively because participants produce a lot of waste on the day of the event, which nearly two kilograms. As event organizers, we have to take responsible to identify the potential causes of these issues and find ways to minimize environmental impacts as to 
manage waste streams. Therefore, we have came out ways to minimize event waste and save the environment. Uh, we hope that our event is able to generate awareness among stakeholders and the importance of waste reduction and also encourage them to live more sustainable, not sustainably. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Guti. Uh, uh, now for questions. May I start with the first question? Please go ahead. Uh, so my first question is that why did you choose the KL Convention Center as your venue provider? Um, thank you for the question. The reason we have chosen KL Convention Center is to, because they are doing quite well in managing their waste, uh, energy consumption, and also their water usage. And besides that, uh, they also receive many IOS certificates for effective environment manager system. Uh, since they have uh, met all of our uh, requirements as stated in our policy, which is to select uh, venues that are certified with IOS 14001. So we have chosen this venue as our event. So we have chosen Chaos Convention Center for the event venue. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I ask the next one? Sure, go uh, ahead. So, like, how do you monitor and keep track of your whole waste reduction and recycling processes? Um, we will appoint someone to be responsible to ensure that the data from the event waste system is fully measured and recorded. And our event provider, Care Convention Center, is also able to provide us with detailed waste measurement data as like, they have many experiences in measuring and keeping track of their environmental performances. Okay, so your event uh, organi your organization has a person in the recycling, you know, in the, it's in like the, the company who is recycling for you guys to keep track of everything. And send you guys. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's good. Uh, Miss, can I ask the last question? Sure, go ahead. All right. So how do you communicate with your attendees and suppliers to make sure that they are aware of your objectives and goals? Mm, so we will highlight our goals and objectives while explaining the current environmental issues to make them understand our motives. So for internal stakeholders like IBM employees, We'll be informing them through group chats, emails, and face-to-face -face meetings. For external stakeholders like clients and shareholders, um, we will be contacting them through email and social media. And for the suppliers, we will be meeting them face-to-face -to, -face to ensure they are aware of our goals and agree on our implementation plan. So yeah. yeah. Okay, right. thank you. Thank you for the three questions. Um, my question will be, um, can you show the slide where you said that um, the staff can actually rent their costumes? Yeah. Um, is, this, is this going to be compulsory or is this um, a volunteer basis? Volunteer basis. On volunteer basis. All right. And uh, how is this going to be um, conducted? I mean, I would like to, um, for you to explain a little bit further on how the process is. If I'm a staff and I'm, if I'm interested to rent a suit, um, how do I know where to go? And uh, when will this be communicated to me? Um, we will first, like, like when we are like, informing them about this annual dinner we will like also highlight that we are, we prefer them to like rent gowns and suits instead of first facing and we will like distribute some vouchers to them so it they would be like more attracted to like rent the gowns right so you're going to provide a list of companies that have um 
the clothing to rent and you will provide vouchers as well, is it? Yeah. Okay, thank you.